ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट Welcome to Onbil TV. This is Yanko Kekrizanyo Solo. You're now watching Prime Time. First, the headlines. Hundreds of locals in Moscow came to the Crocus City Hall to pay their last respect to the terror attack victims. Locals lit candles and lay flowers and toys to pay respect at the concert hall. The United States has strongly condemned the heinous terrorist attack carried out by the ISIS at Crocus City Hall music venue and say that it needs to be defeated everywhere. With the first phase of the upcoming Lok Sabha elections less than a month away, the Janta Dal United, an ally of the National Democratic Alliance, has announced a list of 16 candidates in Bihar. On Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's decision to run the government from jail, Congress leaders and say that Arvind Kejriwal should resign from his position on moral grounds and said running a government from jail is not legal and practically impossible. Those were the top headlines and now for the news in details. Hundreds of locals in Moscow came to the Crocus City Hall to pay their last respect to the terror attack victims. Locals lit candles and lay flowers and toys to pay their respect at the concert hall, which was devastated by the shooting and fire caused by bombs. Russian authorities detained all 11 people, including the four gunmen, who were trying to flee the Ukraine via border. Russian President Putin issued toughest punishment for the perpetrators of the deadly terrorist attack in two decades. It may be mentioned that the Russian intelligence agencies detained 11 people, including four terrorists, who they claimed were directly involved in a terrorist attack on the Crocus City Hall. A terrorist attack was carried out at the Crocus City Hall music venue in the city Krasnogorsk near Moscow on Friday local time. Unidentified gunmen armed with assault rifles went on a shooting spree and an explosion happened in the building. The special services are conducting a search operation and Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin cancelled all mass events in the capital in the next two days. And a number of the other Russian regions followed suit, TASS reported. The United States has strongly condemned the heinous terrorist attack carried out by the ISIS at Crocus City Hall music venue near Moscow and expressed condolences to the bereaved families. White House Press Secretary Karen Jean in a press statement termed ISIS as a common terrorist enemy and said that it needs to be defeated everywhere. The United States strongly condemned the heinous terrorist attack in Moscow. We extend our deepest condolences to those who, who lost loved ones and to those who were injured or affected by the unconscionable attacks against innocent civilians. ISIS is a common terrorist enemy that must be defeated everywhere. The statements read, at least 133 people have died in the massive terrorist attack at the concert city hall and Russia has said that all four gunmen suspected of carrying out the terror attack have been detained by the Russian investigative committee and are being questioned by the investigators in Moscow. CNN reported citing Russian state media TASS. Approximately five armed, five armed men opened fire and detonated explosives among the crowd at the Crocus City Hall, which was almost full with the maximum capacity of 7,500. The indiscrimination firing ahead of the performance by a music band created immense panic situation. With the first phase of the upcoming Lok Sabha election less than a month away, the Janta Dal United and ally of the National Democratic Alliance has announced a list of 16 candidates in Bihar. In accordance with the seat-sharing agreement within the alliance, the NDA announced seat-sharing in Bihar ahead of high-voltage Lok Sabha elections. BJP leader Vinod Taude announced that the BJP will be contesting in 17 Lok Sabha seats while JDU will contest in 16 seats and LJP Ram Vilas in five seats. 
Additionally, two other parties will contest in one seat each with Hindustani Awam Morja and Rashtriya Lok Morja each contesting in one seat. Under the directives of the Election Commission, the Chief Electoral Officer of Manipur, Pradeep Kumar Jha, on Saturday, chaired a meeting with the Chief Medical Officer, CMOs of the various districts concerning cashless treatment for security polling personnel and other employees who sustain injury or fall sick while discharging duty in the poll process. The election for two Lok Sabha seats will be held in two phases on April 19th and April 26th. During the meeting, the Chief Electoral Officer advised the CMOs to be fully geared for providing appropriate medical facilities to security polling personnel and other election on duty. The district election officers are authorized to draw or disburse expenses incurred in respect of cashless payments of polling officials to the extent of 50,000 per person. Expenses beyond Rs 50,000 but below Rs 1 lakh per person can be drawn and disbursed by the district election officer and district collector, subject to ratification by the chief electoral officer. The cashless treatment scheme will apply to all polling officers, police central armed po police forces, security personnel and BEL, 
ECIL engineers engaged in the election related duty of all general and by election conducted by the election commission of India. He also informed about the issuance of the notification regarding security facilities, polling personnel and everyone on election duty and how they can avail of cashless treatment in public and private health institutions in case of any unwanted injury or accident. We will now take a short break. We will be back with more news. Gorom te pet aromon ke thanda rakhe toki muki khali mitha he lage idu healthy ase UHD treated aro safabi ase third idu fresh ase aro muzabi wow kevinder lassi mitha bi healthy bi kevinder lassi mitha bi healthy bi ghar jal pratirodhak cement se nahi bana to padhega rona पानी घुसने से कंक्रीट कमजोर हो जाए स्टार वेदर शीट सीमेंट खराब मौसम में घर वेदर प्रूफ बनाए स्टार वेदर शीट जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट वेदर प्रूफ घर डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट The Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission or the National Solar Mission was launched on 11th January 2010. JNSM is a major initiative of the Government of India with active participation from states to promote ecological sustainable growth while addressing India's energy from Patali Putra, Lok Sabha constituency. According to sources, Bihar will witness polling for 40 Lok Sabha seats across all seven phases. In phase one, voting will be held on four seats. The state will witness polling on five seats each from phase two to phase five. In the phases six and seven, the election will be held in eight seats each. Ahead of the Lok Sabha election, Jan Adhikar Party Chief Papu Yadav merged his party into Congress. He is a former five-time MP from Bihar and the husband of a Congress Raja Sabha MP Rajneet Ranjan. He is also for influencing the Simanchal area of Bihar in politics. Talking about Delhi Chief Mr. Arvind Kejriwal's decision to run the government from jail, Congress leader Sanjay Nirupam on March 23rd said that Arvind Kejriwal should resign from his position as Delhi Chief Minister on moral grounds of his arrest. The court will decide if Arvind Kejriwal has taken any money or not. I cannot say anything on that, he said. A person who taught honesty from 2011 to 14 and claimed that he is a Qatar Imandar is not displaying any basic elements of ethics. If he is honest, he should resign, he said. Running a government from jail is not legal and practically possible. Further Congress leader Sandeep Dixit also said that it would be better from administrative point of view that, the, that he nominates someone else as the chief minister. Whether he continues to be the CM and run the government from jail is AAP's internal matter, but there is no law that bans it. It will be better from an administrative point of view that Arvind Kejriwal nominates someone else, said Sandeep Dixit. दिल्ली का शराब घोटाला दरअसल है क्या इसके बारे में हम कुछ नहीं कह पाएंगे क्योंकि पूरा मामला अब चला गया अदालत में ये अदालत को तय करना है कि सही है कि गलत है केजरीवाल जी ने पैसे लिए नहीं लिए ये अदालत तय करेगा इस बारे में मैं कोई टिप्पणी नहीं कर रहा हूं लेकिन जब किसी व्यक्ति पे भ्रष्टाचार का आरोप लगता है और खासकर वो मुख्यमंत्री के पद पर है तब इस तरह का मैसेज आना कि वो जेल में रह के भी सरकार चलाएंगे मुख्यमंत्री पद से इस्तीफा नहीं देंगे मुझे लगता है बहुत ही खतरनाक ट्रेंड की ओर इंगित करता है भारत में एक परंपरा रही है किसी के ऊपर छोटा सा आरोप बेबुनियाद आरोप भी लगा है 
तो नैतिकता का तकाजा देते हुए वो लोग अपने पद से इस्तीफा देते रहे और मैंने अपने ट्वीट में कई कहानियां बताई अभी हाल में जो हेमंत सोरेन झारखंड के मुख्यमंत्री थे उनके ऊपर भी जब आरोप लगा तो वो गिरफ्तारी से पहले वो रिजाइन करते हैं लेकिन आज जो ईमानदारी का हमको 2011 से लेकर 14 के बीच जबरदस्त पाठ पढ़ाया गया था जिनकी तरफ से और हम लोग उस समय टेलीविजन पर इनके सारे आरोपों को बहुत बढ़िया से झेलते थे और परेशान हो जाते थे ऐसे व्यक्ति ने जो जिसने कहा कि मैं ईमानदारी कट्टर ईमानदार हूं ऐसा व्यक्ति नैतिकता का जो एक बुनियादी आधार है उसका कोई भी एक प्रदर्शन नहीं कर रहा ईमानदारी की जो किताब होती है ना उसका पहला अध्याय नैतिकता पर आधारित होता है जो ईमानदार है उसका नैतिक होना पड़ेगा और अगर नैतिकता इनके अंदर नहीं है तो फिर आगे बहुत सारे सवाल उठेंगे इसलिए अगर आप ईमानदार हैं तो आपकी नैतिकता के आधार पर आपको इस्तीफा दे देना चाहिए ऐसा मेरा व्यक्तिगत तौर पर इंसानियत के नाते और भारतीय भारतीय राजनीति में नैतिकता बची रहे इस आधार पर हमारी ऐसी अपेक्षा होगी क्योंकि अगर मुख्यमंत्री जेल में रह करके सरकार चलाएगा तो पूरे सरकार के कामकाज के तमाम गोपनीय जानकारियां उसके पास रहेंगी क्या यह संभव है एक व्यक्ति जब जेल में जाता है तो वो सजा भोगता है जब सजा भोगता है तो उसको एक खास तरीके से एक जेल के मैनुअल के अंदर काम करना होता है क्या ये क्या ये प्रैक्टिकली और लीगली पॉसिबल है संभव है कि वो जेल में रह करके सरकार चलाएंगे इसलिए मेरा मानना है एक तो नैतिकता के आधार पर दूसरा कानून आपको अपने पद से इस्तीफा दे देना चाहिए इसमें वो जेल में रहकर मुख्यमंत्री रहते हैं नहीं रहते हैं इसमें कोई कानूनी बाधा तो है नहीं और ये ऐसे भी आम आदमी पार्टी का अपना निर्णय है वो क्या करना चाहती क्या नहीं करना चाहती वो जाने मैं तो केवल एक व्यक्तिगत रूप से ये कह सकता हूँ कि शायद बेहतर ये होगा प्रशासन के हिसाब से कि वो किसी को मनोनीत कर दें कोई चला ले लेकिन ये उनके ऊपर है वो किस तरह चलाना चाहते हैं क्या नहीं चलाना चाहते हैं इसलिए मेरे ख्याल से बेहतर यही होगा कि हम इंतजार करें आम आदमी पार्टी का और केजरीवाल साहब का क्या निर्णय होता है इस पर नहीं भारतीय राजनीति में तो ये भी परिपाटी है कि किसी पर अगर रेप का केस लगता है तो उसको हटा दिया जाए किसी पर अगर औरतें कहती हैं कि हमारे ऊपर अब्यूज का केस है तो उन पर केस हो वो भी तो परिपाटियाँ थी उसको तो बीजेपी कभी याद नहीं रखती है तो जो पार्टी खुद सारी परिपाटियाँ तोड़ रही है जिसको किसी भी चीज़ के किसी मॉरल स्टैंड का या नैतिक स्टैंड का कोई लेना देना नहीं है उसके पास कम से कम कोई अधिकार नहीं है कि किसी और की नैतिकता पर सवाल उठाएं। डायरिया खोलेरा और टाइफएड निचना बीमारी होबो पारे बाचा खान के डायरिया हुआ तो बिशी पार सपा न हुआ पानी खा करुने होए डायरिया तो ठीक प्रा न साइले तो जान भी जा बोले पारे इन्हीं का बीमारी प्रा अमी खान लगा गाओ ते लगी था क्या वाइटमिन्स और मिनरल्स तो बिशी कम्ची कुरी दे डायरिया निचना बीमारी के मैनेज करो बो करुने होदाई पानी खाई था के बोले लगे और छोटू बच्चा खान के डायरिया हो जाए भी ब्रेस फिटिंग तो घूरी थी बोले लगे इतुलते होशियार थी और सदा सफा देखी और सफा पानी ही चला भी Welcome back. Heading on to the next news, the 35 Somalian pirates who were captured by Indian Navy's INS Kolkata on 16 March were presented before the session court today here in Mumbai. INS Kolkata returned to Mumbai on Saturday with 35 surrendered pirates and handed over to the local police for further legal action. This came under the aegis of OP Sankalp, which completed 100 days on Saturday. The spokesperson of the Indian Navy, Captain D K Sharma, stated in an official statement on X that. On today, March 24, INS Kolkata returned to Mumbai with 35 surrendered pirates and handed them over to the local police for further legal action in accordance with the Indian laws, specifically the Maritime Anti-Piracy Act 2022. Indian Navy responded to the manifestation of Israel to Hamas conflict in the maritime domain of reorienting and significantly enhancing the scope of the ongoing maritime security operations since mid-December 23. The post stated that the navy undertook proactive actions during the hijacking of the Malta. It stated, the Indian Navy stated that the Indian Navy had taken decisive steps to address the impact of the Israel and Hamas conflict on maritime security. Since mid-December 2023, the Indian Navy has intensified its ongoing maritime security operations, responding its merging threats today.
A four-year student of the biotechnology at Guwahati Indian Institute of Technology has been detained after he stated on a social media platform that he had joined the terror outfit. After what he went missing from the Guwahati IIT campus, the development comes close on the heels of the arrest of I India ISIS chief Harish Faruqi by Assam authorities in the state Dhubri area. After stating to have joined the terrorist organization, Tausif Ali Faruqi wrote an open letter to LinkedIn stating that the reason for his decision, according to a police sources, a lookout alert was issued. Faruqi is reportedly a resident of Zakir Nagar, Okla, New Delhi. He was found from Hajo in Kamrup district and he has been detained for interrogation. STF sources added that he was taken to his hostel room where the police found a bag flag similar to the ISIS flag, among others. Police also said he was a loner and did not have friends in the campus and was a reserved person. Additional Superintendent of Police Kalyan Kumar Patak said after receiving an email, we, we got about to verify the authenticity, authenticity of the content and started an investigation. The email was sent by the students in which he claimed that he was on the way to join the ISIS. Patak also said IIT Guwahati authorities were immediately contacted who informed them that the students had been missing since noon and his mobile phone was also switched off. Where Delhi. Why is this? 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 I mean, who is the who is also the IGP of STF? So based on that news report, uh, we first and foremost we have to ascertain whether that uh, indeed that person existed or not. So for that we had visited the IIT campus, we had spoken to the management, and it was ascertained that indeed there was a person of that name, and a lookout was issued in the airport as well as in the railway station, but nothing concrete came out. Subsequently, at around 7 p.m. of today, in between 7 to 7.30, uh, there was some information that that individual had been spotted at Dandama area in Hajo. So, our search teams were already there in place and we ascertained that this was the individual. We picked him up, we brought him to our STF office and we have questioned him regarding the contents of the mail. And uh, our further investigation is, no, he has not been arrested too early to go for arrest because you need some, some materials to go for uh, arrest is only a part of that investigation. It's not that you have to arrest in all and every cases. So we'll, we are looking into all aspects and only after that we'll come to a decision. That's all for the Primetime Bulletin. This is Yanka signing off.